and welcome to my channel. Today we've got this Milwaukee vacuum cleaner, but it's not working. We put on a new fully charged battery. We'll flick the switch, the top here. We get absolutely nothing, and I'm going to show you why that is. With this thing uh, split open, you can clearly see what's wrong. You see that circuit board's fried. There's not much to it. There's a battery connector, a circuit board going up to a switch, and a motor. We could check if the motor's okay. We could probably um, disconnect it from the, the board and connect it to a battery directly. So checking the continuity of the switch, I have to go to the underside of the switch with the probes and there's nothing coming through, nothing coming through that switch, so the switch is gone as well, she burnt the switch too. So this Milwaukee VAC is extensively damaged, She's, the only good component we have really is the, is the motor, so can we do anything with it? Well I'm willing to try. Uh, the problem with that, uh, we could probably bypass the board. And we can get a switch but bypassing the board would have its issues of um main issue i'd be concerned about is low voltage cutoff for the batteries it can over discharge these and then they won't charge in your charger and you have to boost the voltage with another battery you don't want to be doing that all the time so i've had another idea i could replace the switch with this one this one's near enough um, Instead of the circuit board, I'm going to put on this low voltage cutoff. So I can set this to cut off at 17 volts. When the when this goes down to 17 volts, it'll stop the power coming from here and preserve the life of your battery. I'll just remove the board and cut the wires off. And that'll get the ball rolling here. The reason why I'm doing this, I might have neglected to say, but these components are no longer available. And even if they were available, they're much more than the than the back swap to buy new. So it doesn't make sense to fix them the right way to get a new board and a new switch. Even if the board had been away, it was still too expensive. I mean to say, if the switch had been okay. It still wouldn't have been viable. So the voltage goes on here and it comes out here. So what I have to do is put the positive on here and the negative on the other side.
What's the voltage on now? Positive voltage out. I'm going to take that up to the switch. And then we'll go back down again and go directly into the motor. Where's the negative voltage out? I'll go directly into the motor on its own. So this out, it's going directly into the switch, or sorry, directly into the motor. Positive will go through the switch. That's how it all connected up now. Yeah. I'll have to secure that little protection board there, that little voltage dropper board. Hope that one screw will hold it in position there. With an M18 battery and setting the voltage to cut off at 16.9, so when this battery gets down to 16.9, the voltage will stop and that'll still be chargeable voltage, so you won't over discharge your battery. That's the idea behind it. So I must put this all together and see how she's going. Here we are, that's her all back together now, and the wee switch don't look too bad, it's not uh, it's not as industrial looking as the Milwaukee one, but it'll have to do. So we'll open her up and give her a try now. but I'm calling that fixed so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos